This is a love story. A bewildered little fourth grade boy, one day, squatting on a bamboo thatch floor of his makeshift hut in an overcrowded refugee camp. The next day, sitting upright in a slippery surface of a hard chair in an inner city American apartment, recalling the refugee camp where he come from, where he was born, walking barefoot down dusty paths, being hungry, bathing in the river, playing with six, laughter, fearing the Burmese army, and always ready to run. Long flight, siblings crying, flying high, waking up in a sterile white room that echoed when I spoke. I fought to go to school in the refugee camp. That wish was granted, then torn away. The love story interrupted. Light switching on and off, marveling at the magic, stepping outside, senses assaulted. The crisp smell of frigid air, the roaring public transportation, wet snow, and terrifying expanse of concrete made me hold tighter to my mom's warm hands. Voices passed us, speaking gibberish. The quest to learn English, the love story resumes, in the fine lines of the teacher when she smiled. The spark that caught fire with each beautiful page of a book turned. All books, any books. I want to learn. I'm listening. A new word, a new phrase. Words, books, pencils, lined paper, and the magic of erasers. Deeper, deeper in love, learning. But with all love stories, there were things that disrupted and invaded the love life. Insults hurled across the middle school lunchroom. Bullying, that's what they called it. I buried myself in the books, sheltered in their pages, company in their words. But when the attacks came from home, they called it domestic violence. I struggled to translate the report to my overworked parents. Three younger siblings, one older, not interested in school, I was alone. On a roll, scholarships to sleep away summer camps, tucked away in the mountains of the Adirondacks, sheltered once again. And when my English started to roll with ease, reading the mails and the bills, I was aware that we were living well below the poverty line in the land of the American dream. International baccalaureate, school clubs, and college, I fought for this. You can take away the classes and the clubs, but you can never take away what I fought for as a child in the refugee camp, the love of my life opportunity to learn.